Hey guys, welcome back to another Train Sim World video and today we're going to be doing another service. Today we're going to be doing the was it? 912 Oxford to London Paddington, starting at Reading Station. So, um, try the last part of the journey from Oxford between Reading and London Paddington, so yeah. Let's get started. I really wish you could drive from Oxford all the way to Paddington, but unfortunately not. So it'll probably be like a semi-fast service, so we'll be stopping at service stops like Slough, um, Hazing Harlington, and probably Ealing Broadway. Actually, our first up is Typhoid, which is at 12.18, but I think we picked up passengers already. I think, yes we are. It's not telling us to pick up passengers, so we should be good. Let's open the master key, which is over here. Let's go into this forward. AWS. It's on the light because it's quite dark. AWS is here. There we go. We should be good to go. So, yeah. Let's keep going. We have departed like 50 seconds late, but that's okay. We are known to be late anyway. If you watch my previous videos, got 4.8 miles actually to Typhoid, so. Kind of thought Typhoid was a lot closer to Reading, but I guess not. I've set the weather to summer fog, so it should be quite foggy. Before we do a bit of a different weather. Fortunately, you can't open the windows on this train. You can open it on the class 66. Oops, we're speeding. We don't want to be speeding, do we? There we go. Speed limit is going up to 90 miles an hour, so... Let's go full throttle. Oh, we forgot on the lights. Whoops. That's on the lights. There we go. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? The train's quite uh, quiet still. I haven't seen any patches for uh, Train Sim World yet, so... Not too sure what the uh, Double Games are doing. So those tracks go towards um, Guildford, Southwest Trains. Yeah, I would have thought they would have an uh, optimization patch by now, since it's been like... Almost a week, I guess. Actually, maybe like four or five days, actually. Because it came out on Thursday and it's like a Monday now. So, yeah, four days. Hopefully by Thursday, there should be a patch, hopefully. Pretty much everyone's complaining about optimization. Even people on 1080 Ti's, like... Even they're lagging, so... Not all the time, but like... They're experiencing quite a lot of lag at certain parts of the route so definitely needs to be fixed okay we've got 3.4 miles left and we've got just over three minutes just under three minutes sorry typhoid it would be cool if there was a timetable that shows you what stops we're going to be stopping at but that's something they haven't added added to the game unfortunately like in train simulator, it shows each stop and it'll basically tick off which ones you've done. So after Typhoon, I'm not too sure what stop we're going to be stopping at. Maybe Slough, I guess. So Slough, maybe Iva. Maidenhead could be a station we could be stopping at. I believe Maidenhead is before um, uh, Slough station, so that's probably the one after Typhoon, most likely. It is uh, 9.16 in the evening, so it's somewhat dark, but not too dark, so the FPS is pretty good, actually, considering. I think this is the fastest I've been with this class 166, almost 80 miles an hour. 
We are going slightly downhill by 0.1%, so that, that's helping. Okay, let's stay around 80 miles an hour because we do need to break eventually. Just under 0 0.6 miles, actually. Was it? No, 0 0.9. Sorry. It's confusing the the white uh, marker and obviously the blue one. It's literally overlapping each other. So 0 0.7 miles away. Start slowing down, I guess. Don't overshoot this, do we? Let's do full service because we probably need it. Yeah. I think we're pretty much gonna stop in time perfectly. We're gonna be slightly late, but that's okay. By a couple of seconds. Start slowing down. There we go, perfect. Left doors. All aboard. I did see a branch line going towards the right hand side, so I wonder where that goes to. Hmm. So yeah, the branch line goes towards here. I would be interested to know where this line goes to. It obviously straight goes towards Reading and Bristol. All these passengers leaving my train. Definitely taking their time getting off the train though. I wonder if you can close the doors even though the passengers are loading in. That would be interesting, I guess. I haven't actually checked any collectibles on this uh, transition yet, so I'll, I will do that in today's live stream. The doors. And let's get going. Yep, next station, Maidenhead, 21 26. Full throttle. So why not? Let's actually try to find quickly the collectible the safety signs. I'm sure there's one here. That's not one. Basically, it's a blank sheet, I guess. So there's a blank safety sign or a blank map. And there are 25 maps in this. I'm pretty sure there's not 25 stations on between London and Reading, so there should be at least one or two on each station. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Yeah, don't bother train, guys. Yeah, here's one. So basically this is blank now, so if we were not driving a train then we could just walk here and then go up to here and then basically we show a map and that will be my 10th uh, map out of 25 I've collected, so that's one there. Oh, you can walk up the stairs, interesting. Nice. But yeah, we'll, we'll do the internet live stream, try to look for the collectibles. We know there's at least one in Typhoon Station. Five point six miles away from Maidenhead. Let's look at the map actually. So we're currently here. 
Reading decisions over here. I know it's not labeled, but Devtool Games decided not to label it because I guess maps shouldn't be labeled. That makes sense, right? Wait, tell me where that branch line goes to because I want to know that. We're currently here. That, that's probably Maidenhead because it has the yellow star on it. And there's another branch line go that goes from Maidenhead, so I wonder where that goes. There's a lot of branch lines on the Great West, the main line, but. Unfortunately, Duffel Games didn't realize, actually uh, add any of them to this route. The most easiest one would have been Greenford Branch, but they didn't bother with that. The Windsor Branch, I think it's slightly longer, but they didn't bother with that either. And obviously, there's a branch line at Maidenhead and Typhoid. So we'll go four, just over four miles away. Definitely enjoying driving the class on 66 over the HSD. Probably because it's less laggy. Then again, it's laggy now, so maybe because we're going 77 miles an hour or something. Like one, one second it's smooth, the other second it's snaggy, like, like you, you never know what's going to happen, you know. Like you could try the scenario once and there could be absolutely no lag and the next time you do the scenario it could be like lag throughout the scenario, like. Okay, 3.4 miles. We are on time though, I think, so should be good. Why can't you open these windows? Why can't you open the top of the window? We can open this and check on our passengers. Hey dude. You okay? Probably getting the train back home. Okay, there's a speed limit change, so we need to... Where's the speed limit change? Um, 0. Point... No, 1.2 miles, so that's fine. I'll close it for now though. You know what? Let's open it. Once we get to Maiden, I'll check on the passengers, see if they're doing okay. A 75 miles an hour speed limit in 1.4 miles. So 0 0.8 away from uh, Maiden Head, the speed limit changes. AWS. Probably turning me because of the speed change, I believe. I wonder if Dottle Games would add some scenarios to this route. Maybe in a patch or something, because there's only five scenarios you can do, and the rest of it is the services. And I do prefer doing the scenarios over the services because that's what we pretty much do on Train Simulator, play scenarios, career mode scenarios, standard scenarios, scenarios that people make in Steam Workshop. Okay, we've got just under a minute to reach there and probably, yeah, we are, we did reach slightly later at Typhoon, didn't we? So, a few seconds later is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Let's get off the throttle because we got under a thousand yards away from our destination. It's Maidenhead, which is another station I haven't explored yet. We will do this in the, the live stream tonight. Yeah, we need to slow down, damn. I think we're going a bit too fast. No, that's okay. In the class 166, which I think it came from the branch line. We're coming in hot, but I think it's pretty much perfect. Around 10 15 seconds late, that's okay. Perfect. Objective complete, open up those and left, left inside. Okay, let the passengers aboard. Very nice. 
a screenshot. Oops, that kind of. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the camera glitches out quite a bit. Unfortunately. Let's go. Let's try to find some of these collectibles. Obviously, we're in free cam image and we are driving a train, so we can't collect it even if we see one. Like a Typhoon, so. There should be a map and some safety signs. This oh here's one. Here's a safety sign. So safety signs look like this in a small rectangle R box. And once you go near it, it'll basically open up like basically this. So there's one there. So any maps? There should be a map at least. This is one of the main stations anyway, so on this route. Okay, let's lock the doors. Yeah, I can't really see any maps, but that's okay. Let's get going. Next station, Tablo. Tablo at 9.30. Oh, we've got a class 166 there. Very nice. First time seeing a class 66 in a service mode. Kind of cool. Wrong camera angle. So we got 1.6 miles away from Taplo. And I'm guessing the next session after is probably Slough. I doubt very much that we're going to be stopping in every single stop. It will be interesting though. But I don't think Oxford to Paddington services stop at every single stop. A station like Acton Mainline, West Ealing, I think if you're on the Green Prod branch, then that train will stop on there basically. You have 5000 XP exactly though. Kind of cool. Now there is a achievement for collecting all collectibles on uh, any route, so on this route or the CSX Heavy Hole route, so that is the main reason I'm trying to collect it and it is a cool feature for this uh, train as well. It lets you explore the train stations and see, see how it looks like compared to real life I guess. Okay, let's get off the throttle because we're almost there. Tap low, tap low. Start slowing down. Yeah, I think we're gonna always shoot this slightly. No, actually, this is perfect. This looks absolutely perfect, actually. Okay, bit br braked a bit too early there, but that's okay. Let's go next to the blue thing, otherwise it won't count us as completing objective, apparently. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Once again, open the doors on the left inside. This is another station I haven't explored. A lot of stations between are uh, after Slough I haven't ex actually explored, but the ones like Ealing Broadway and Southall, Paddington, pa all the stations near Paddington I've explored, back to mainline, etc. That's part of the route I know more. Okay, there's a map under here. Okay, that, that glitched out quite a bit. Okay, I think it was under there. Yeah, in there. Any sta uh, safety signs? They're normally around this side. I don't think so. It might be up here. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. 
Mind the gap between a train and a platform. Thank you very much. So yeah, there are some announcements, but... There are no announcements for the train itself, which is the most important one, so it's a bit disappointing. I think they didn't mention it's going to come later on, but... Okay, next session is Burnham. But by then, like, most people will be bored of the train, uh, Great Western Express anyway, I would say. Unfortunately, most of the services are pretty much the same thing because... The route is so limited, so any service like London to Swansea, London to Cardiff, London to Exeter, is pretty much just London to, uh, Reading in HST, basically. So pretty much the same journey. Only thing that, uh, is diff that could be different is, uh, time of day and the weather. Unfortunately, I can't really play on heavy rain or anything because it will it will make my game really laggy. Unfortunately, okay, let's get up and see how our passengers doing. How are you doing, guys? We can sit as a passenger as well, like this. So, if you want to close this and drive a train like this, then you can. I wouldn't recommend it, but that's what you can do. Let's leave that open. Here's this. Uh we can open this. It is quite glitchy as well, so just so you know. Now we're probably approaching the next station, so I should really go back into the cab. Oh god. Please, game. Oh, thank you. We need to drive the train, guys. Okay, let's just sit back down. We've got 800 yards to our destination. Oh my god. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> I was drinking my cup of tea and I accidentally moved the mouse, so apologies for that. I think we always sh shot this. Is it? No, we're good. I think this might be perfect. Yeah, I've been saying that for the last couple of stops, but... Once again, we just... We just needed to break a bit later. Well, that's okay. We made a couple of seconds up, though. And this time, when you unlock the doors on the right hand side. This is Burnham. a bit of exploring because why not we could in theory get out the train and set, look for some collectibles and then come back and continue our journey if we wanted to so if I find one we could basically do that quickly if I can find one okay here's one okay uh, let's go on. let's get up open this so essentially you would go up to this thing blank thing and go next to it and Basically, 10 out of 25 routes collectibles complete. And if you want to go, go down as well. Okay, actually, you can't go down. That's a bit sad to see. But let's go back into the cab. So, this is probably the fastest way to look for collectibles while driving as well. If you don't want to spawn at certain stations. Lock the doors. Let's get going. Next stop is um, Slough, maybe? Yeah, Slough. So we've got four minutes to Slough. In theory, it doesn't really matter if we're late or not. Because these are not, this is the services, and in terms of the scenarios, they're like, they're not carrying much scenarios, so. You don't get punished for being late or spe speeding or anything, so. It doesn't really matter if we reach on Slab one time anyway, so we could have stopped and searched a bit more at, at the previous station. But we could do a bit of, I think we've looked at everything at Slough though, I think. Actually, Slough I haven't explored yet, I don't think. So we can do a bit of exploring at Slough quickly.
FPS seems to be a lot better at night time, so... Anyone who's struggling with FPS, then drive at night time, I guess. Maybe anywhere around 8 o'clock or after. And this is on winter... Is it fog? Not winter. Summer fog, sorry. Yeah, summer fog. So there is some weather conditions. It's running pretty well, actually. There are a few laggy spots, but... Until they optimize the game, then that's gonna happen anyway. But if you want me to do a specific s service in the next video, then let me know. Let me know which service you want me to do. And at what time so I can s search for the service on the game. Let's go with the throttle. Because we've got just under a mile away from Slough. Not seeing any HSDs though. You don't really see much H HSDs when you do our evening service. This is a similar service I did in yesterday's live stream. I only saw like one or two HSDs, so it's a bit weird. You can pretty much go from 45 miles an hour to zero within probably like 150 yards. So let's try it. Maybe not 150, maybe 200. <laughs> so wait for 200 and we'll be go f full service. No, I think that's pretty much perfect. Not a bit too early. <laughs> it's always a thing, you know, always a thing. Look at that guys, we're actually early, by around 10 seconds. We've actually made up the time, surprisingly. But yeah, let's unlock the left doors. And let's look for some collectibles. Now, I don't know where the collectibles are on this. Uh, I think there's one there. Yeah, there's one over here, so we need to get up. Is there a step here? There's no step, unfortunately, here, so we can't actually go there. We need, uh, let's go around, actually. That'll do. So this is a safety sign. Just over here. There we go. Step another 25. And there should be some maps. Any maps here? Any maps? I don't think so. I think there might be on other plat that side platform. Could be on that side actually, but we don't have time for that. We need to get going, so... To be fair, we could just go on here and walk through the, the carriages into our driver cab, like so. We did leave the door open, which wasn't the best thing. Anyone could have... One of the passengers could have basically decided I wanted to drive the train <laughs> so that's okay okay doors are locked next station should be either I guess Langley Langley so full throttle So yeah, that's a terminus platform it's from uh, London Paddington to Slough services. We did do a service uh, that went to Slough, I think. I think it was a down the line scenario. Yeah, down the line scenario went to Slough and we terminated on that platform. Let's go 1.9 miles away from uh, Langley. The horn go a bit, bit loud actually. This is apparently us wearing a suit.
one and a half miles. But yeah, most of these buttons do work. But not everything though. The radio unfortunately doesn't work, which is a bit of a shame. The windows don't seem to open on this train. Yeah, it does open in the class 66, if you're wondering. This does work. Wouldn't really recommend it having it down because otherwise you will probably crash the train. <laughs> the master key is obviously here. What's that button? No idea. Maybe the AWS reset. Let's get off the throttle though. Let's go around 50 miles now. Then we'll do like full full service break in with 200 yards to go. And we should reach there perfectly, I think. Actually, we're gonna overshoot this, I think, yeah. This platform is quite long, actually, so I'm not too sure why it's telling us to stop there. Maybe because we're driving a free car train. But don't worry, we haven't actually overshot this anyway. We're still on the platform, so that's fine. We've actually stopped at the 46 car marker. Let's open the doors. Let's close that door because we don't want any passengers taking over our train. Imagine a passenger actually carried on driving the train and left us behind. <laughs> that would be like kind of cr crazy. Okay, there's a station map. Is there any safety signs? No. It's a nice waiting room actually. Very cozy. What station is this anyway? Uh, I forgot. Anything here? No. I'm guessing there's a safety sign on that side, but we don't have any time to do that. The doors. Sit down, lock the doors. Close the doors. Closing my door. And let's get going. Next stop is Iva, 2147. So we've got like just over two minutes. I think that's the safety sign, is it? May I couldn't quite see that, but it might be. What I am struggling to find is the ballot, which looks like a key or something, so. If you know if you know where they actually would be then let me know. I think the last one I found was next to an oyster card machine or ticket machine. So yeah, maybe the next to those machines I guess. Uh, we got like over eleven thousand XP already, like that's crazy. We probably will get like maybe twenty thousand XP at the end of this. Which will level up level us up quite a bit. Got 1.1 miles away from our destination. I believe after either it will be um, Ealing Broadway, I think. Can't really tell how far we are away from Paddington. Yeah, we're early, which is good. So at 300 yards, I will with full service. So this is going above 50 miles now. Which maybe not 300, maybe 200. No, I'll do 300. This might look per. Uh, 
this might be perfect actually is it it's look it looks good it looks very oh we actually break before that wow surprisingly i thought that was perfect you know okay unlock the doors let's look at some let's look at some collectibles any collectibles here I don't really want to go up the bridge or anything, because then we will leave the station late. There should be one in here, hope, most likely. Yep, we found a route map. Oh, there it is. Nice waiting room. Looks like a prison, actually, with these windows things. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything there. Nah. The safety signs are normally on a wall, like over here. Close that door. I wonder what would happen if we could leave the drive the train with that door open. I don't. I have seen uh, on, on on the ground some drivers leave it open when it's like a hot weather outside, just to let some cooler inside the driver's cab. Okay, next stop should be Ealing Broadway. Not West Drayton. It's gonna be the first time I'm gonna be stopping at West Drayton though. Actually, after West Drayton should be Hazing Harlington, then it's Ealing Broadway, so I'm pretty sure if you're stopping at West Drayton, we're we'll gonna be stopping at Hazing Harlington. Where obviously the Heathrow branch goes away towards Heathrow. That's the last stop for the Heathrow Connect towards Heathrow though, so. I'm sure some of my passengers wanna get off so they can take the Heathrow Connect. Class 3 itself would be pretty good on this route, actually. Okay, we've got 1.2 miles away, though, so... We're probably around 10 miles away from Paddington, because... Ealing Broadway is, like, 7 miles away from uh, Paddington's, and... Then we have Hazen Harlington, and we're straight and off to pa uh, Ealing Broadway by a couple of miles, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're really early. You know, I'm just gonna go with the throttle now because and this way we're gonna be like a minute early, which is I kind of don't want to be early to be honest with you. So we're 250 yards. We'll do full full service braking. We're gonna be traveling around 50 miles an hour, so it should be fine. So 250 is almost here. That's 400, 300, 250. Okay, this should be perfect, surely. There's no way this should be before. Yeah, this is perfect. Yep, absolutely perfect. Look at that. Within four Ooh. yards. You could say that's pretty much perfect, like, getting exactly zero yards would be pretty insane. <laughs> but yeah, let's go out to West Trayton. I haven't seen West Trayton Station in this game, so let's check it out. Very nice station. Oops, don't want to go going on the tracks. Oh, oops, we're not meant to go to the side. Any signs? There should be a safety sign here, maybe. Nope. I'm not seeing much. Must be on the other platform, I guess. Um, maybe one of those buildings are probably a safety sign, most likely. Yeah. Disruption line, rail upgrade works, and rail replacement bus services. Sit down, close the door. 
the doors. Wait until 2152. Oh, okay, there we go. Because we were so early, that's why. Made us wait. Next station, Hazen Hollington. It's good that it made us wait because then we're gonna be too early then for the next stop. Then we're probably get, gonna get like a yellow or red signal ahead of us. So we're catching up the train. Probably Hazing Harlington, Ealing Broadway, and then a non stop to Paddington. We might also stop at Acton Mainline, maybe. We'll see. Is that a yellow signal? Is that our signal? Yes, it is. I think it is. Okay, game, I know. No, it's in no, it's Green Simon's house, right? No, it's a yellow one. Interesting. No, I got a green signal now, so that's fine. We shouldn't be following any other trains anyway, like we're perfectly on time anyway, so unless the disruptions on the line. Pretty sure that red is not for us. Oh, it can't be. And that's for the train above. I think we're gonna be late, I think. Yeah, probably be late. It's got a mile away from here to Harlington. There's a lot of red signals ahead of us. Oops. No, I think we're good. Yeah, that one's a green one. There's the first HSD we've seen. So, 250, we will go full throttle. There we go. I think if it's within 100 yards of this, then it's fine. Just stop. That should check it off. Yep. those. I believe I have explored a little bit of Hazing Hardington. Not much though. Unfortunately this doesn't work which is very disappointing. Like why add this to the game when it doesn't work? There's a terminus platform here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on this platform. Maybe on that. Probably. Oh, there's one here. Yeah. Is there a step here I can climb on? Yes, I can. So let's go here. Here's a safety sign AR25. Come on. Come on, game. I don't want to get run over, please. There we go. Why can't I close the door? There we go. Lock the doors. Next stop should be Ealing Broadway. And probably at 10 o'clock. No, actually, it's South Wall.
Oh yeah, Southfield's off to Ealing Broadway. Dennis should... We're stopping at a lot of stops though, that's for sure. Why doesn't the horn work? Game. Okay, the horn doesn't sound anymore, unfortunately. Already got 16,850 XP, so yeah. If you want to get XP there and just do a stopping service like I am now. I don't know if you uh, get extra XP by coming on time or not. Yeah, the horn's not working. I don't know why. Wait, let me go outside and then go back in. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Oh, is that our signal? No, it's not. That's not our signal. Our signal's in 600 yards. Now, this white thing is very useful. It shows you how far the signal is, but it's actually covering up the signal when we're trying to look at it from where we are sitting, so... It should be a little bit smaller, I would say. We'll change this uh, shape of it or something. Okay, we'll do the same, like... Go 50 miles an hour into the station and start breaking at 250 yards. There we go. This is South Wall Station, which I have explored, so I think we've checked all the safety signs. I don't think I found a ballot on this. I don't think. Maybe I have. Who knows? This one looks good. Yeah, we are stopping a little bit short, but that's okay. Unless the, at least the whole train is on the platform, I think. So, yeah. Mm, what is that? Nope. I thought that was a safety sign. Yeah, I think the whole train's on the platform. Let's see. Oh, actually it's not. Wow. My bad. I do apologize. Actually, there's the map that I've already found out, so yeah. I'm pretty sure I've checked this station out already. It's quite a nice station, actually. Well, you can walk through the train, so it doesn't really matter too much. I like, just walk to the front of the train, and yeah. Come on, game. Close that door. Lock the doors. Lock this door. Locking all the doors, that's for sure. Okay, next stop should be Elin Broadway, hopefully. Yep, Ealing Broadway, finally. <laughs> so potentially two more stops before we get to Paddington, but most likely one. Three point two miles away, so we will get up to speed. Maybe like seventy, eighty miles now before we get to Ealing Broadway. You can only really hear the train when you zoom in like this. Like you would expect like a diesel train like this to uh, be a lot louder. One six six two zero seven. 
From Oxford to Paddington. Let's look at the map actually. So, we are here. And Ealing Broadway should be all the way here. Yeah, Ealing Broadway is there. The station that we're not going to be stopping at is this stop, which is um this stop. Uh, this is West Ealing Station, where the Greenford branch diverts towards Greenford. There is a HST coming out of the way, as you can see. Unless that's a very, very, very long Class 166, which I don't believe exists. <laughs> There it is. Oh, that's a class 66 actually. This is... This is a... I don't think this is worth ceiling. I think the station after this is worth ceiling. Which you see the branch line towards going that, towards that side. Yeah, I think West Ealing is coming up now. It's like a mile away from Ealing Broadway, I believe. Yeah, this is West Ealing. West Ealing Station. I'm sure there's some collectibles on this station which I haven't checked, found. Yeah, we're really early. <laughs> Let's go to up to 50 miles an hour then. We'll get off the brake. To... There we go. We are slightly going down now by 0.1%. Alien Polo is a really, really um, long platform, so it should be fine. This looks good. And yeah, change it for the district line and central line trains, which you'll see on the left hand side. I wish you could see, but let's pretend they're there. Let's open the doors. I believe I have searched all the collectibles on this station, but we can get out. So basically these two wait. So the ones next next to us is the central line platforms and then the far ones are the district line trains. So you can start the West World scenario from here. Because it does start at this station where you take a class 166 to um, Paddington, then you take HST towards Reading. I have already done that scenario if you want to check that out on my channel. So that's one of the maps I found over there, as you can see. Now, if I didn't find it, it would be blank, so I would know I have to collect it. Okay, I need to sit down. Let's take a screenshot, actually. Beautiful screenshot. Okay, so it doesn't want to work for me. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, I think. Oops, I forgot. Turn the HUD off. I was wondering why isn't the game showing me any information? Okay, next station should be Paddington or Acton Main Line. Yep, Paddington. We're not stopping at Acton Main Line. And we got 5.3 miles. I thought it was 7 miles away. I guess not this HSD again. So I think Hazing Harlington is seven miles away from Paddington. So what aim is to get there, but 
We've only got 5.2 miles, so we might encounter some signals. Hopefully not. We will get AWS if there is a possible signal. I am kind of praying for not a red signal because I always seem to be finding that I'm going past it and the service will basically end and that'll be the end of the video and we won't get any XP, unfortunately. <laughs> and we got over 20,000 XP already, so yeah. I'll probably level up like two or three levels at least, considering how much XP you got for this um, scenario service. Sorry. Okay, this is active mainline station, just like two and a half, four miles away from Paddington. Okay, we've got 50 miles now. Speed limit at. Two and two and a half miles to two, two point one miles. Sorry. So I think we should just go the full anyway. You can change the how the speedometer lights up. So if you click on this, basically it lights up. So yeah, I should have done that at the beginning, but. You can do that if you want. I believe this is all up common uh, depot. Because it's not too far from Paddington, I don't think. We should see a uh, Westbourne Park station on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side, we'll see um, what do you call it Royal Oak station, not Royal Park. As some of you keep mentioning, I keep saying Royal Park when it's Royal Oak. Where you can change for the Hammersmith and City and Circle Line trains. So yeah, there's a lot of underground AI they could have added, uh, like Hammersmith and City Line, Circle Line. Even though they use the same train, same as a District Line actually, as on stock. And then we have um, and f oh, wait, that's a green signal. Thank God for that. And we have the Central Line stock train, obviously. We also have a central line socket at Greenford, but that's not in the game, so... That would have been interesting. I think that's a red signal, yep. I'm just gonna slow down a bit. Can't tell if it's a red... No, it's a green signal, we're good. I need to slow down actually. Twenty five miles down speed limit coming into Paddington. Still got a mile and a half though, so I'm mean, really gonna go at 24 miles an hour for the last mile and a half. I guess so. Actually, we're going downhill by 0.4% gradient, so we are gonna be picking up some speed.
And it's actually because we're changing track, that's why. And speed is going up to 50 and then 40. There we go. Surprisingly, you can go 40 miles now into Paddington, but. As you guess we can do. It's 12 12 at the moment, so. Not 12 12. 10 12. No, we still got a red scene, that's good. Would you say uh real oxidation on the left hand side? Changing tracks again. Zero point eight miles away from Paddington now. His speed limit is going down to 20 miles, so kind of expect that. I think when you leave Paddington, it's 40 miles an hour, so you can get up to some decent speed out out of London, Paddington. Is that a red signal? Yeah, that's a red signal. I'm pretty sure it's a red signal. Um. Uh, no, I think that's a yellow actually, is it? Let me see. Oh, that's a yellow signal, my bad. <laughs> and there's a rail lock station. There's a collectible on that station. And Westbourne Park. So we probably have to walk it out to Paddington. Spawn up Paddington and walk all the way to those stations. Over the tracks. So I have attempted this uh, service already and I've passed red signal so I am very off passing another one I don't want to fail the service basically especially when you're getting like, over 20,000 XP for it I, we're actually late <laughs> surprisingly probably like by a minute But yeah, we're coming to Paddington. I'm not too sure what platform this is, but okay. Stopping a hundred and twenty yards. Paddington is the hardest station to find collectibles because it's such a big station, but I don't believe all the collectibles are on the station. Otherwise, it would be pretty easy to find. Oh, oh that's perfect. Nice. Let's open the doors on the right hand side. We've got the whistle shop there. It will tell us to leave this. Uh, Pass uh driver's cab anyway, so let's do that. Passengers are departing our train now. Very nice, very nice. Got Cafe Nero over here. There it is. I'm sure you can walk past it, surely. Because there's so much over there you can explore, you know. It's a bit disappointing. Actually, we have to stay in the cab because we need to lock the doors, so my bad. <laughs> we can't do it when we're uh, spawn walking. So let's wait for that to happen. Almost done. There we go. Lock the doors. We should really leave it open anyway, but anyways. Total XP, 5,400. Very nice. Almost level 7. It's pretty good. So these are all the stations that we stopped at. Like, this should be in when we're actually driving the train so we can see where we have to stop at, but... Anyways, let's screenshot that, because why not?
and now it's saying stop at location slab because this train's going to slow now so yeah i will end the video there hopefully you guys enjoyed it. if you did give it a like share with your friends and i will see you in my next video bye guys